drought and famine. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Morgan Ashley. I talk a little bit about everything over here. I have luxury hauls, there's some reviews, there's some vlogs, you name it, I got it. But if you're a returning supporter, thank you so much. Your girl has reached 1K. So I wanna thank you guys so much for helping me get there, from telling your mama, your auntie, your brother, whomever, I appreciate it. Um, a giveaway is coming. I don't know if I'm gonna announce it in this video or probably the next video, we'll see. But that just means that you have to stay tuned and watch to know what I'm giving away in honor or as far as my thank you for helping me to get to 1K and getting monetized. Um, and if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my face or this video. However you, however you got here, I wanna thank, say thank you. Um, I do ask that if you enjoy this video or if you wanna check out some others before leaving my channel, that if you did enjoy, that you do not leave without hitting that subscribe button. But while y'all clicked on this video, and without further ado, let's jump into today's review. Before we jump into the video, I just want to say thank you to Janelle Reynolds for pretty much requesting this video. I really wanted to do this review anyways. I did do an unboxing when I first got it months, months ago. Um, check it out. It's on my Instagram on I'm Morgan Ashley. Um, but she commented on, I believe it was my best and worst purchases of 2023 video and she asked that yeah i would love to see a review so just look you guys you ask tell me what you want in the comments and i listen if i can i will deliver but thank you girl because she is always supporting and commenting on my youtube videos and on my instagram posts so thank you janelle um but without further ado first let's just sh show off the bag itself but i do want to do a little background on what coach topia is from the coach line or what basically what is coachtopia because chow i don't know but this is the bag so if you don't know what we're talking about today if you did not peep from the thumbnail this is what we're talking about okay <laughs> so this is the dust bag coachtopia on the back it does have something as well um it says welcome to coachtopia a world in progress join us on the road to circularity and on the bottom it says tap to connect this product has a unique digital passport to access it find the connected cloud emblem on your product and hold your phone against it until the pop-up appears learn more at coachtopia.com well that shows me that i do not read because i did not know that hmm. and then i know i had a, something i could hold my phone up to it on the bag child but this is the bag itself this is the wavy, dinky, uh, checkered pattern in the upcrafted leather. So before we jump into it, I just want to give a little bit background because Coach Topia does have a few different types of leathers per se, and specifically in the wavy, dinky, you have a regular Coach Topia leather and you have the upcrafted leather, which I have. So just a little FYI. So Coach Topia. Um, basically is the protection of new um i'm sorry no so this is just a little blurb from coach Topia's website so made with waste so the production of new materials accounts for 38 percent of the fashion industry's greenhouse gas emission that's why in coach topia we are minimizing our use of virgin raw materials and crafting from what already exists for example, our upcrafted leather bags and accessories are made from luxury leather production scraps left over after our bag patterns are cut from leather hides. So that's what this specific wavy dinky um, style is. It's the upcrafted leather. So basically to me, that just means that um, for bags and accessories from their coach line, whatever say you know style um they're creating whatever scraps are left from those goods they then take those leftover scraps and take them and you know deem them as upcrafted leather and make patterns like this so if you can tell quickly um the bag the black is smooth leather and the white is more of that um textured creaky leather um more durable i can't think of the name of any of the levers of others right now but um as you can sell so i'm assuming this black probably came from a black coach bag and the white came from a white leather coach bag of a different style and texture and they made this one and then the other coach topia leather um is made at least 50 percent from recycled leather scraps from tanneries so 
Um, though it's made with waste, it sacrificed nothing in terms of style. Coachtopia has worked with its partners to ensure Coachtopia leather has a premium finish, texture, and hand feel that you would expect from Coach leather product, but with an at least 60% lower carbon footprint versus virgin leather. So it just sounds to me that the Coach Topia leather ones from the scraps and things, whatever, are left over from making bags, that they somehow combine it and create a new leather um, from the different leather scraps and then from the upcrafted leather i'm thinking that they're taking them they're taking the scraps directly from the cuts of making coach line bags and creating bags you know from that leather so not they're not doing anything from that leather more as far as like treating it additionally the coach le the coach topia leather sounds like they're doing that a little bit more as far as how they're treating it and um you know making it maybe like one piece of material to create a bag compared to up crafted leather you're they're gonna have to take different pieces in order to make a full bag so i just wanted to initially give a background on what coach topia was because i initially had no idea i think most of us probably follow um, brown girl chi on instagram and i know she works at coach so that's how i was introduced to the coach topia line honestly um i would not have known um, i do subscribe to coaches i think email list but probably would have never been interested until i saw her posting about it on excuse me uh, on instagram so background on the bag <laughs> i did not see anybody with this bag of course like from her that's how i got introduced to the line i think some of her videos at the installation installations that she um were at she was at as far as like the launch of coach topia i like oh what's that bag what's that black and white bag that's how i got interested in first saw the bag to this day i still have not seen a lot of people with this bag um i'm always complimented on the bag even being on instagram and i scroll, scroll endlessly i um, trying to find the new girlies that you know intrigue me with their style or just i like people with you know you get tired of seeing the same thing so it's refreshing to see people with pieces that not everyone has and no one even the girls and i'm like oh she's fire i have not seen this bag and i think it's a great bag as far as um just every day um even as far as dressing up dressing down um but it's a just a bag with great versatility and as far as the uniqueness and chicness of the bag like i am surprised why more people have not gravitated toward this bag um but um i did do an unboxing on my instagram so if you have not seen that please make sure you go do so it's from months old it's months old when i initially got it um but first reactions as to when i got the bag um and then also this um i can ask i'll do that a little bit more actually so to get into the bag itself as you guys can see like i told you it is black and white this bag this specific type of upcrafted leather comes in a different color of pink and i think like a maroony or a deeper red um bag or color but it has a two-tone leather so the black is that more smooth leather and the um white is the more grained leather you have the black long crossbody strap let me just fix this so you have a black long cross variety strap which has about one two three four five six seven seven holes so depending if you're long 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 depending if you're tall or short big wide i think they got you with the strap um it is quite thin i would have appreciated it if it was a little bit wider but it's fine um and then it also comes with this resin strap as well this is what also i really loved on the bag i loved to love love that it came with the two straps you didn't have to buy another shorter strap but then this one was just so unique and different it was super super cute um i can say when i initially first saw this bag i did see the multicolored version of it so the resin was different colors like red green blue like it was a rainbow per se compared to this nude color that i received um and then the same thing like with here so this was the multicolor there with the strap um so when i got my bag i cannot recall if the website showcased this color i feel like it did so i was sort of taken aback when i got it but i still loved it because i felt like I sort of loved the neutral a little bit more i just felt like it can go with a little bit more things even though i felt like the black and white was a neutral in itself and i just felt like the color would have 
brought the fun to it but i still love the neutral i feel like it still goes with a lot um a little bit more in in my personal opinion compared to the rainbow um but i still do love the rainbow version um both of these straps are um removable so you can literally hook and take them off on either side same thing with the longer strap um and also it was sort of cute i never realized i was like you can sort of reuse this as a clutch um and that would be sort of cute you just either remove the straps in this i'm just gonna tuck them in the bag and it would be easy to do so um to change this from daytime casual to make it an evening bag which i thought was super super um give me a heart so i'm closing it with the straps but this would be super super cute i think and wouldn't don't mind that because this the strap but this would be super cute as a clutch like put it under here i don't think it's too wide as far as the little width here and uh or too long i think this would be very very cute as a clutch i didn't even think about it till the other day but i actually really love this so think about it you have three bags in one you can use it as an evening clutch or if you wanted to take out the resin strap and use it again if you're going out for drinks with the girls and you want to be cute use your resin strap or even in the daytime if you would prefer to use if you're not a fan of crossbody bags you still have your resin strap or you have your crossbody strap which gives it more of that daytime casual feel so you in actuality get three bags in one like i just said but um outside of the straps the inside of the bag so this is i guess i'm assuming that they would have dyed this um no 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 i think they would have dyed it i feel like coach lines the inside of the bag say this was a black bag they would have dyed it black but i'm assuming to save on emissions they did not dye it so this is probably just i'm assuming raw raw leather here i don't know but so you'll just get that neutral color um and this is that class from the outside the inside of the bag you do get that you know we love coach's hot stamp per se so you do get coach topia has one too um as you guys can see on the inside it says coach topia this is a coach topia bag it's hang tag holds a unique digital password hold your phone okay that's what i read on the back of the bag so i never even realized that so it does definitely have um i guess i would hold my phone near this and it would connect i had no had no clue so that is fun and interesting to know um and then also in the inside i didn't even realize <laughs> i should have reattached it um this is a con on this bag but you also do get these little hangings you get the um coach leather um you know these are always on coach bag and on here this does say coach leather wear and on the back it has coach topia with that little signage there and then of course a normal coach focus on was not focus but then you also do get a resin um thingy of this called with coach topia on it it's the same color as your resin um your shorter strap and that resin detail in the bag and then of course just you would this came on the bag but wearing this bag throughout the day um one day i can say that this did loosen up and did fall off the bag luckily i was able to catch it but i would say this is a negative on the bag because it fell off so i just put it back in the bag i didn't even reapply because i didn't want to take the chance of being outside in the bag i lose that in in all so that's why i just put it in the bag um the inside of the bag is rather spacious and deep um as you guys can see the bag is you know it's not very it's not long long per se um, i think it's a like a great small medium bag um but you do get your width here um and the bottom so it is again very spacious you can definitely fit numerous things in the inside without feeling overcrowded and having to search for things and then you also do get uh surprisingly a back pocket we all love a back pocket um now i wouldn't say the back pocket is probably um practical for those of us who like to throw our phones um i have a this is a 13 pro max and my phone is fits but it's peeking through 
so I would not keep my phone here maybe during the daytime but this is not safe to me I feel like it could slip out but if you have a smaller iPhone I feel like it could potentially fit without a problem but I would probably use this more um, for hand being not on a night out I would throw my phone in I mean my fan my handy dandy, handy dandy slim fan or just a um, lip gloss or lipstick I would throw in the back for easy reapplying and not having to you know dig in the bag determining on what you put in your bag for the day or the nighttime so that's pretty much the bag in itself um I can say that I'm rather I was rather impressed I feel like it still was that coach quality the bag does not feel cheap to me um at all like I said you still get that quality coach leather I feel like um that you do in the regular line um so this bag retailed at now i would say the price i mean it's i feel like i'm okay with it i would like it if it was the um coach topia leather price so the small bag and the upcrafted leather um leather was 4.95 so that's what i paid for it um i did have sales tax and things like that um in texas but initially the retail bag the retail price is $4.95 however if you were interested in the coach topia leather version and they have a wide rate of colors um and designs in the coach topia leather um offering they have about like i'm gonna say 15 different ones and they have the leather they have um what is it patent leather that version those that leather version is 395 and they do have two new sizes which i was unaware of until recently but the mini um is 195 and they have about you know three they have about six different colors and the minis are super cute they are only offered in the coach topia leather um i'll show you guys really quickly but the the um minis are super cute let me maybe change it to a different color so maybe you could see it but Oh, let me bring my brightness down but i want you guys to see this like i love this the minis are super super cute and this shows that multi-color chain that i was talking about what i initially saw my bag with but that is super cute this is a patent leather one i would definitely invest in the mini ones now if it's like a mini jack moose type of small one i don't know but i hope this is sort of practical but 200 dollars, this is super cute and then now they also have a medium size and this is only offered in recycled polyester so this is one version of it i am not in love with the um recycled polyester but that retails at 175 so i mean they have a wide range of offerings so from 175 up to 495 for this style bag dependent on the type of leather material and size um now i have worn this bag i'll say more on the casual end this is easy i'll try to input if i don't think i have a lot of photos with me in it but i throw this bag when i'm running errands going to the grocery store going to the gym um just having to run out quickly i take advantage of this crossbody strap um i do not think i've worn this bag no i have i wore this bag also for christmas going to a christmas dinner i did wear the um just the resin strap um i wore like jeans a black turtleneck and some black um knee-high boots which was really cute again it was a daytime dinner going over to my friend's family house so and i got compliments on the bag her mom was like she loved this bag and when i say this bag is definitely like i said a, a, um, a conversation starter i get asked all the time what type of bag is that and when i tell them coach they're like really like i had no idea and i tell them it's that coach topia line many people are so unaware that that line exists so if you're looking for a bag an everyday bag for me that's why i also wanted it i needed an everyday more neutral um crossbody bag that i could store things in this is the bag for you but also if you do not just if you want more than one use and use it again like i said in the evening you can do so and utilize the resin strap or even as the clutch this is the bag for that um i would say um you know 495 
again it depends on what you want if i wanted the solar color 395 i think i would be more comfortable with that but i just really really love the checkered version and i did not have anything anything like this in my collection so i wanted it so i got it um again people will stop you and ask you where this bag is from what type of bag it is it is so cute funky quirky it elevates i feel like any basic outfit just with the black and white you can never go wrong with black and white like i would throw this on right now if i really wanted to if i wanted to head out with my red lip my black shirt and my black and white bag um this is that um so i would overall on a scale to t one to ten i would give this bag probably um, an 8.3 and i'm taking points off just because i did not love the price point a ton and also i didn't like that this fell off that was sort of annoying um well other than that i really love the bag um yeah so i feel like if you're interested i say go ahead and try it if you don't want to spend the 4.95 try the mini version which is super super cute or try the coach topia leather for the um 3.95 but i think this bag is super cute i would recommend i love it i hope more people get into the coach topia they uh, line they have really some fun quirky unique bags that uh, you know everyone can't have because these designs are going to eventually change and evolve with the changing of whatever they're cutting for the coach line per se so depending on when you get it if you decide to invest in this bag you may get a different color you may get a different color patchwork like i said there's this and a different pink and red or burgundy uh wine color version available but again they're probably going to ever change and i would say if you love this one go grab it before it's gone and yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope I touched on every point of the bag that you were curious about. If I did not, please make sure you leave a comment below and let me know and I'll try to answer it there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you go make sure you go do so before you leave this video or before you leave this channel. So without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Drought and famine, natural disaster.